want to welcome you guys to the U to You booth at the Farm Fair. This is the virtual version of the Farm Fair. It's called a U to You booth because an E W E is a female sheep, and a male sheep is called a ram, and a baby sheep is called a lamb. Lamb, just like Mary had a little lamb. So in the springtime, we like to get the wool off of the sheep and prepare them to give birth to their babies. But the shearer will come and place the sheep on its hind end and it just relaxes them. It's like getting a haircut in the spring. And um, if, you, if any of the boys have been to the barber and had a buzz cut, the shearer uses much the same kind of um, clipper, only it's a lot bigger and he just sets the sheep down, leans it up against him and starts at the head and starts to shear it off. And it comes off in one big piece called a fleece. And then we, we skirt it. And what that means is we take all of the dirt and ickies off and then it gets rolled back up again and put into a bag and it goes to the mill. But this is my mill, it's called the wool mill. And we're gonna go inside and see how it's made. So here at the wool mill, we take the raw wool, which is what you saw on the skirting table, and we wash it. And then it's carded and spun into yarn. You can use many different things to dye. You can use plant dyes. This one is actually dyed with indigo, which is a plant. There's a bug called cochineal that you can dye with and it gives you a really pretty red color. You can also use commercial dyes and they give you really bright colors. So this yarn is dyed with a commercial dye and you can also use Kool-Aid. So we're gonna do a little bit of an experiment here and I'm gonna pour, this is really hot water. It's been boiling in the kettle. I'm gonna put some water in this, these jars. This is a really fun thing to try at home if you have the wool or the yarn. And this is just Kool-Aid and this is a skein of yarn that I have gotten wet. Do you wanna feel it? Feel it. So I just, I just got it wet to open up the fibers and then I'm gonna put one end in this side and one end in this side. And then we're just gonna go ahead and walk around the mill and take a look at what all we do here and let this set for a while and we'll come back to it when we're done and see what happens. So this is the raw wool. This is how it comes into the mill. And I wash wool at 170 degrees. So this is really hot. And I'm ready to do the last wash of the day. So I put the wool in these bags and then it goes into the wash tank and it just soaks. See how dirty that is? Yeah, that's, that must have been how dirty the wool was. That's the first wash. Oh. So this is gonna go through a process of four washes and one rinse. So this is the carter. And after the wool gets washed, I take it out to the greenhouse to dry. So the sun's also drying the wool. And then there's a big machine out there called a picker. And it picks the wool apart. And it comes out like this. So what a difference between that icky, dirty raw wool to the washed pick wool. Changes color, doesn't it? And then we card everything two times. This big machine is called the carder. And on the second card, I have to weigh it out. So I put the wool inside this little ice cream bucket and I'm looking for four ounces. This is four ounces of wool. That's a lot of wool, isn't it? So this is what 
They would have used in the olden days to do the job of this great big machine, and they would put the wool on and cart it with, by hand, if you can imagine. Even before that, they would just spin it in the grease, and they would use a thing called a drop spindle. And even back in the, in the Viking times, they would have a stick and a stone, and literally everyone would be spinning. The kids would be spinning, the adults would be spinning. There was no idle time. Everyone spun when there was extra time to do anything. But now, with the Industrial Revolution, happening, we get to use machines and electricity that cuts our work down tremendously. So we're going to go around to the other side of the carter and I'll turn it on and show you what it does. You can see all the drums that it has and it's going to just be basically carding the wool and making it into roving. This is called roving. So many people like to spin this themselves using a drop spindle or a spinning wheel. And all you have to do is draft the fibers out and put a twist in it. And that's how you make yarn. So if you pull on that now, it's really strong. This is called a one ply. And if you want to make a two ply, then you have to reverse it. Typically you spin clockwise and you reverse in the opposite direction, back onto itself, and you get a two ply. Hmm. Then once the bobbins are filled on the spinning mill, we can bring them over here to this mill. It's, it's the same type of mill, but it's older. So um, we always have it set up in reverse so that we can use it just for plying. So these are two, these are just the ends of two bobbins that I had and it's all set up. All I have to do is turn it on and it's gonna take two and turn it into one. Can you see that two ply? So that's basically the whole process, but maybe we should check out our experiment. So, oh, it looks like it's got a ways to go, but you can see what's happening. The, the wool is absorbing all of the color from the Kool-Aid. And when it's all done, the water will be clear. So this is some of the yarn that I've made um, out of the wool from my sheep. And you can see the different colors. And it goes everywhere from light to dark and in between. And we even did a, um, a two ply using these two colors together. So this is what it looks like when you've plied two different colors, which is kind of a fun thing. This is felt that I talked about. And you can even felt little bars of soap, which is what this is. These are great for camping. It has a built-in washcloth. So this is where more of our scrap goes, is into the felted soaps. And then these are the dryer balls. Also, um, they're great for dog toys. So I've had people just use them for indoor dog toys and especially when it's super cold outside and they can't walk their dog. They give the dog uh, one of these and it just chews and chews and chews forever. So these are washed in the washing machine. This is a little scarf that was made. So this is just a little hat that we made out of um, scraps. And you have any questions? Um, no. Nope. What was your favorite part of the whole thing? Um, feeding the baby feeding the baby lamb. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching and go spin some yarn. <laughs>